All right, guys, so I just extracted the file for the update for the QN90A. It was at 1506. That was the very first firmware factory setting. But now I am updating it, I believe, to the 1560. And we're going to see what the difference is after the update. And the reason, another reason why I'm doing this is because I can test it out if I like it. If I don't like it, then when I get my replacement TV brand new, I could decide then if I want to update it or keep it just the way it is. So this is going to be interesting, but I am now updating my TV. And in order for you to update the TV, you can no longer update it through the internet. You have to go on your computer and you have to download it to your computer and then you have to extract the zipped file. Once you extract it, you take the extracted new file and you put it into your USB stick drive. Once it's downloaded into there, you safely eject it from your PC and you connect it to your Samsung device, turn it on and Look, it's updating right now, so I'm having a lot of fun, and I want to see the difference. We got it's it's downloading pretty quick, and guess what? It's done. So now the new firmware update is updated, installed. Who knows? Maybe it'll be a better gaming experience for me. Maybe a better game mode. Maybe just better all-out features. We'll find out. So as I'm looking at it, it looks pretty much the same. Nothing has changed, but I'm gonna test it out for game mode and I will keep you guys informed. But this is the new update. Let me show you so you know. That way I could test it out. There we go. It takes a little while for the controller to connect to the TV. All right, so as I'm looking at it, let's go right to the mode it takes a little while for it to read as it's already updated and connected and new update but once we get to it yep current version 1560 so that's the new version all right guys i'm gonna check it out and i'll make another video